What is going on everyone? Fatal Reaper here today, back again with another video. Today we're going to be showing you the best settings for Black Ops 7 on a 4070 Super. As you can see here, this is my display adapter for the graphics card. We do have a 250 hertz monitor, 1920, 1080p. We are set to full screen uh, borderless quality. Um, we'll get to that in just a moment. We got, of course, fill the view all the way up and we're showing you the best settings overall that I found. For first, so first of all, make sure you have NVIDIA DLSS. Um, you can use different ones. Uh, obviously, they do different things. I found the best out of NVIDIA DLSS or SS. Um, make sure you have frame uh, generation on. This will basically boost your frame rate and uh, basically add additional frames, as you can see. And of course, it is using AI to render additional frames. So do make sure that is on. Sometimes these settings will be turned off when you start a new game or if they do uh, updates and stuff like that. And settings will be changed on that. So for next, uh, we're going to keep on te uh, text resolution on high. Um, detail quality on high. Sometimes I turn this to normal, probably actually turn it to normal. For bullet impacts, I usually like to turn that off. Uh, shader quality, I do typically keep on high. Uh, On-demand texture streaming, make sure this is set to minimum or you're probably going to lag all over the place, even if you do have the same settings, same graphics card, uh, same, you know, CPU that I've got and uh, all that. I do have 64 gigs of RAM in my build and I also have an i7 processor. I think it's 14700X or not X um something like that i had to look at it i honestly I honestly always forget the cpu but i obviously the graphics card and 64 gigs of ram shadow quality i'm going to turn this down on normal or low and i recommend this because shadows will kind of make you lag and when i say lag i mean lag like it's gonna it's gonna cause unnecessary delays and stuff um the space lighting i also turn that on like medium i guess they changed the settings with the new update that's why i say make sure you're checking your settings through the new updates and stuff like that because that, you know, kind of will typically happen. Um, space reflection, we'll keep on uh, high, uh, normal. We're going to keep quality on that on low. Terrain quality, I'm going to put that on medium. I don't like the very high stuff. Uh, weather grid, we're going to keep that on low as well. Water, honestly, we'll kind of put this on one of the more of the lower settings. This is going to be on low. And we keep volume, quality, clouds. Honestly, we're going to keep that on medium because that's just like fog and stuff like that. Um, that being said, that is our settings there. Um, we'll go over this one more quick little time. Uh, again, you can set this how you want, but these are just the best settings overall for quality that I found that is typically the best. So again, frame generation on. Hope that saved all that. <laughs> I don't believe it did, actually. I think we actually got some of that off. Anyways, we'll go over it real quickly, real fast. Shadow quality, again, make sure that's set to normal or low. Actually, I'm going to turn that on off. We're going to put that on low. Um normal medium low most of the stuff i say put on medium and high uh, medium and low honestly because not because like oh it can't handle that all of that kind of stuff it's because um when you do that you're going to get higher fps typically um and for the fps you can also as you see in the left corner we do have a frame counter for you and all that kind of stuff with the temperatures and all that stuff um for the frame counter and all that you can put and make sure ray tracing is off by the way because that will literally completely screw all your stuff up but uh yeah all that and make sure you can put your um fps if you want you can put that to uh v-sync if you want i sometimes do because i don't really care about like, you know, i kind of keep the you know v-sync or whatever on or off it just kind of depends we're kind of going to jump into a game here and i just kind of want to show you guys you know what what it looks like and how we do um right now we're sitting at the 120 fps counter i do believe that's because we're in lobbies i think i have that set somewhere i'm not sure where the settings are they change them each time i get on cod i swear they always i can never find where the um where your uh graph or your fps is at and all that kind of stuff Ah, custom frame rate got you. So custom uh, game play frame rate. We're going to put it 250 menu. I do keep it 120 and out of focus. I, keep, I put 30 and stuff like that to kind of kind of keep it, uh, you know. All good and all good and neutral. Getting a little bit higher FPS now that we're in the game. So we're getting around the 230, almost 240 FPS. Now, again, you can keep shadows on and stuff like that. And you may still continue to get, you know, stuff like that. You're two, over 200 FPS, depending on what graphics card you have. If you have the same one as mine. But typically, I found it when you turn shadows and stuff off, the game is a lot more smoother. Like, oh, we just got first.
and I kind of go up here, and you see the game looks amazing, honestly. Like, I don't know, understand what people are kind of saying, that it looks crappy and all that. I think it personally looks amazing. But yeah, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't understand what people say the game looks a certain way, this, this, that. I, I think the game looks amazing, personally. Ah, we got killed. We were going six and one. But I mean, you can just kind of see, like, like I said, you can tweak those settings a little bit differently than you want. Um, but I, I don't know. These settings, when I turn shadows off, I have to say that I typically have the best experience when shadows are turned off. And that's just me, or when they're at least turned to low, it seems that everything kind of... Uh, but, guys, that is the best settings for Black Ops 7. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or maybe you have better settings on your list, let me know below. But uh, these are the best settings that I've found. These work out when I'm streaming. These work out when I'm recording. Like now, they just play better. Um, I get pretty high FPS with this. I also have a 250 hertz monitor. So that definitely helps in the long run too. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.